Palestinians in Gaza, children, women, men, remain stuck in a non-stop nightmare. Communities obliterated, homes demolished, entire families and generations wiped out, with hunger and starvation stalking the population. collective punishment that was declared with the siege is indeed amounts to a war crime and it needs to be dealt as such. One child alone, never forget, had burned so bad you could see her facial bones. We knew there was no chance of her surviving that, but there was no morphine to give her. So not only was she inevitably going to die, but she would die in agony. And what made it even worse, that there was nowhere for her to go and die. So she was just left on the floor of the emergency department to die. And that's just one story. I find that there are reasonable grounds to believe that the threshold indicating the commission of the crime of genocide against Palestinians as a group in Gaza has been met. Specifically, Israel has committed three acts of genocide with the requisite intent causing seriously, serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part, and imposing measures intended to prevent birth within the group. The genocide in Gaza is the most extreme stage of a long-standing settler colonial process of erasure of the native Palestinians.